guys, it is Kayla Waller with Waller Adventures, and today we are going to be talking about compost. So stick around, check it out. compost bin because I realized we were wasting a whole bunch of stuff like fruits and veggies like the peelings off of like cucumbers the tops off of strawberries things like that but I have been using my coffee grounds and banana peels as a source of fertilizer I've been making banana water to water my plants and I have been using um, coffee grounds to give my plants an extra caffeine boost. It, like, it's no different than you drinking coffee in the morning. It's like them drinking coffee in the morning. So today I am going to show you what I have been using in my compost bin and I'll show you how my compost bin works and I'll show you how I am going to put my compost to use. So here we go. All right, so these are my little helpers that make about 80% of my compost this is Winona, and that one's Waverly. <laughs> so you can see they are fighting over lettuce. So like I said, they make about 80% of my compost because every week I have to clean out their cage, and between the two, they are poop monsters. They poop a ton. So each week when I clean out their cage, I save all their poop, and I save all their hay, that they have left in the bottom of their cage because not like cats or dogs where they eat meat and things like that the only thing they eat is veggies fruits hay and a little bit of dry food and drink water that's it so all of their poop is very very organic which is really great for fertilizer which is why i put it in my compost bin not only do i use their poop and the hay that i leave behind in my compost, I use veggies, fruits, like on strawberries, when we cut the top off of the strawberries, I put that in the compost bin. I put eggshells, um, coffee grounds, anything and everything that we use that is biodegradable. If you want to see a list of things that are biodegradable, I'll put a link in the description below so you can check out and see what else is biodegradable. So this is my compost bin. You can see how big it is compared to me. Here, I'll stand up. So you can see how big it is. It's pretty big and pretty hefty. I love it, it's awesome. Um, you can see that it's on a stand and it's in a circle, but there's a reason for that and I will show you. So if you look on top of the compost bin, you see two doors on it. I have one of them taped off because that was the first side that I started putting compost in and I left it stagnant for a month and I'm starting to put stuff on this side but as you can see it's got a door and it opens up all right so if you see inside this right here is the divider which is separating this side from this side so you can do two compost at the same time like I said before the one on this side is the one that I started first and I have it closed off and this is the new one that I'm making you can see that there is guinea pig poop in there with the guinea pig hay that white stuff in there, that is part of the guinea pig shavings. I try not to put a lot of those in there because I, it, I'm not 100% sure what the shavings are made of, but I can't fully get the shavings out. <laughs> but you can see there's some banana peels in there. There's a strawberry down there, the top of it. So in this bin, I've been putting banana peels, strawberries, uh, the guinea pig poop. I even have like this thing right here. That's some uh, yard clippings, so things like that. So after today, when I use the other side, I will close this side off and start a new batch on the other side. All right, so I got some uh, things to put in my compost. I got some uh, peppers, some uh, shavings from the cucumber. I got coffee grinds in there. Let's see what else I got in there. I got some strawberries in there. That's really cool. So I'll show you how to put it in the compost. All right, so you got this side open. You just want to dump, dump it all up there in the top, like so. You 
Then you want to put the door back on it. And as you, you can see how it's, it's wobbly, it's not really wobbly. You want to take it and give it a good spin. <laughs> this is what turns up all of your compost and makes it all mixed up together. And it's all good and churned. Alright, so like I said, I got this a couple of months ago, probably four or five months ago. I actually got it off Amazon. I'll put the link in the description to where I got it if you're interested in getting one like the one I have or any other compost bin you want. So I think they only come in one color, which is black. And the reasoning is, is black holds in heat. And that heat is what makes things decompose faster. I also forgot to mention the one thing that I have put in my compost bin is turkey and chicken bones yeah i know the one that i started four or five months ago has the turkey bones in it from christmas if that tells you how long that i've had this uh, compost bin but when you want to put chicken bones in there you want to make sure they're boiled and or cooked you can't just you know just have a chicken and just throw the bones in it you have to make sure they're um they're cooked or boiled so that way the decomposing can happen a little quicker so as a side note like I said I have banana water and I will show you what that looks like all right so this is my banana water you can see that it looks all grungy and dingy it's because banana peels have been sitting in it and the banana peels were rotting inside of it and what this water does it gives your plants extra potassium to grow uh, I have switched between banana water and normal water with my plants in the red solo cups that are starting to grow. Um, this gives them a nice potassium kick. I have also put in coffee grinds on top of them to give them a caffeine boost. So this is what banana water looks like if you were ever curious. Also, the longer you leave the bananas in there, the more bubbly and foamy and fermenting it will get. So once the banana peels start getting black and gross and slimy, you want to take them out and I put them in my compost bin. Speaking of gross and foamy and sinky stuff, you might be asking, Kayla, does your compost smell like gross poop? No. no. Every time I open up the bin, flies will fly out. And that's normal. But it doesn't really smell horrible. It has a smell to it, but it's not horrible as of right this second. I've not taken the compost out, which is what we're getting ready to do. In a couple minutes so it might stink then but as of right now as it is sitting in my compost bin it does not stink horribly there's a little bit of whiff of scent but it's nothing that i'm sitting here gagging and going oh my god like i got i mean you, you saw earlier when i put my stuff in there it doesn't really smell that bad so yesterday i have spent all afternoon cleaning out the og and the pig trough if you don't know what those are I'll put a link up to the top of me building my garden. But just as a quick little refresher, the OG is the original garden, and it is the 4x4 kind of raised bed box garden with a chicken wire top to it. And the pig trough is the 1x4 foot pig trough looking garden that is off to the side of the OG but it is connected to the OG with chicken wire and that chicken wire is called the cucumber crawl so that way cucumbers can grow on top of it so I dug out all of the old dirt out of the OG and the pig trough but I did not let that dirt go to waste I put the old dirt in some holes in the yard so that way it will be put to some good use also in the OG I put a layer of chicken wire because I was scared that moles would dig up under it and come up and eat what's in my garden but i didn't have any problem with that because i didn't put it in the pig trough garden so i just got rid of it and it's a good thing i did because it was starting to get gross and rusted and that's not good for the ground and the dirt and also it kept all of those old roots trapped under there and that was was what was making my garden not grow so great last year <laughs> But I got all of it cleaned out. It is nothing but straight dirt. So now we are going to put the compost in first. And then we're going to put the brand new dirt on top of it. So let's go. 
Alright, so I got my bucket. I'm going to break the seal on that side of my compost. Alright. Put my bucket underneath it. Like I said, I've never done this before, so we'll see how it goes. Alright, so you can already see the bones that I have in here. <laughs> but um, I'm going to grab my uh, shovel, my little spade, and I'm going to dig out the rest. And as I'm digging it out, it doesn't smell. It just smells like compost. And if you can't get all of it out, don't fret. Don't fret at all. You can get it on the next round. All right, so we got about a bucket full of compost. You can see there's some eggshells in there. You can see the piggy poop in there. It looks pretty good. You can look inside of it and see what it looks like on the other side of everything. But you can see the knobs in there. And on the bottom down there, that's what helps churn up your compost as well. So, as you can see, the garden is clear of roots, anything like that. There's a, there's a couple of sprigs of roots, but they're not horrible. But we're going to take our compost bucket. I'm going to sprinkle it around in the OG. I'm going to take the rake and rake it around a little bit. You can see all of the piggy poop, you can see the bones in there, see the eggshells, and the big huge turkey scapula. <laughs> but on um, bones, like chicken bones and turkey bones, all that will take a long time to decompose, but it's a good source of um, nutrients for your plants. Alright, so I am also using black cow manure as well in my garden. And now this doesn't stink either. It doesn't, it doesn't smell like cow manure. Mix it in with the compost. So this year I am trying a new soil is called jungle growth it's organic and every bag you buy saves an endangered wildlife in its habitat which is awesome this is really it's really really moist So you might be wondering what this is. This is all of the bedding that was in the piggy poop. And I'm glad it actually did this so I can get it out. <laughs> so I'm going to throw this away because I don't know what is in the piggy bedding. But yeah, so that's what this white mess is. I do know if you have um, any small animals like rabbits, rabbit poop is also good as well. Um, I did a video of um, permaculture of uh, tips and tricks for your garden and we ran into a woman who had a bag of rabbit poop that she was donating to the church as fertilizer which is really cool. I see some eggshells popping up right there. Alrighty. That looks pretty good. All right, so we have a lot of things growing this year in our garden. We have some butter beans, we have some peas, we have a jalapeno plant, and we have a brand new plant called a kooka melon. Hopefully that will grow. And we are going to do a video on that. So hopefully, a big huge hopefully, <laughs> that will be a success so we can show you 
about the cucamelons. We are also growing tomatoes. I have a cherry tomato plant. I have two beefsteak tomato plants. And I have a new one. It's like a smaller tomato. It's, some, it's called something Pretty Girl. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not 100% sure. It's, um, it's a new one. So that's the only things I have growing this year in my garden. So the cucamelons are going to live in the OG, which is what I just put the compost in, and hopefully that will help it grow as well. So this is my first time making compost. If you have any tips, any advice, leave it in the comment section. Be nice. Like I said, this is my first time making compost. Also, I'll put a link in the description on more compost info if anyone is interested in doing their own compost. Alright guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. If you are, we greatly appreciate it. If you're not, hit that subscribe button. It will help our channel grow and help us make more awesome videos like this one. We are also on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. And in the description below, there will be a link to our shop where you can get cool Wall Adventures merch. So thanks for watching. See you soon. Hey guys, it's me again. If you want to subscribe to your channel, click over here. If you want to check out some more videos, click down there. If you want to check out our cool merch shop, go to the description below and click the link. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.